everybody. Welcome to the latest workshop update. Very good progress over the last couple of weeks, particularly here inside the building. Various things have been brought in, moved into position and uh, constructed. The lathe is now in its final home. This was completed yesterday using jacks, re-railing bars, various sleepers to support it. Uh, gently lower it to the ground very safely, very carefully, and then move it across into its final home there, where it's waiting for connection to uh, make it ready for future use. This was done very successfully, no damage to the floor or to the lathe itself. That's the first machine tool to be put into position. The milling machine and the pillar drill will follow uh, shortly. Various other things have been completed as we can see. Uh, lots of shelving, racking, uh, workbenches partially constructed into their positions almost, uh, waiting for future use. The pit railings are partially completed once again. This uh, gives quite a good impression of what the rest of the pit will look like once the rest of the pit has been completed. Uh, this is obviously necessary to prevent any accidents in the future with volunteers. Uh, quite an obvious uh, danger there with the new pit being a large open, open area. Another big safety improvement in comparison with the old workshop and the old pit there. The uh, steps for the pit are constructed and uh, in position. On one side, the other side will be done to match very shortly. A uh, nice, safe, easy route down into the pit there. Mad Bess and Roberts in their final homes on road two. This was part of a mammoth two and a half hour shunt one evening last week to get things uh, back towards slightly more normality, make things a bit easier, not having to move half the carriage shed and three locomotives just to get one flat wagon out for a bit of permanent way work. So Bess and Robert will live here mostly um, in between use most of the time and the two service locos will be on road one here in front of the camera for uh, use daily well, in the main main usage of the service locomotives the welfare area is coming along nicely lots of items of furniture and other equipment in position now uh, two desks for computer work and general paperwork as an area uh, lockers and a changing area for staff the sink unit is partially completed filing cabinets, uh, cupboard, storage space, etc. Uh, it made it like a random collection of things. This has been a lot of thought and design work's gone into the actual items, the placement, making best use of the play, uh, space once again. Uh, not as easy as it may look. So that's coming along quite nicely, ready to be uh, fitted out with the final touches, wiring, cabling, and um, fixtures and fittings, etc. The compressor and the air tank are also in uh, inside the building, not quite in their final homes yet, but that's uh, getting towards completion sooner or later. Uh, as seen in the last video, the floor paint is fully cured, fully finished. Uh, it's getting a bit dirty already, but we can obviously uh, clean it. That's one of the advantages of having the paint the way it is. So doing well inside the building, making good progress. Things are starting to look like a workshop once again, gradually. Um, next couple of weeks, machine tools will be moved in position, more um, furniture, racking, shelving etc will be put in. Uh, the skirting is yet to be finished, nice metal skirting board, hopefully very long lasting. That's uh, mostly completed, looking very neat, same colour as the floor. That's just a few final touches to go there and that will be another job off the list. So getting there very very gradually inside the building. Out here in the yard area once again at Woody Bay, we can see in front of us here a uh, reconstructed, refurbished set of points. This is the set of points that were outside road two and three in the old workshop. Uh, we've put them here for the new permanent way sidings. Two routes on the back of the point will give us two sidings for storing hoppers and other permanent way vehicles outside at Woody Bay in the future. Uh, the reason for not purchasing a new set of points in heavy S14 rail, we didn't think it was really worthwhile for two uh, light use sidings and this particular set of points in their old location saw very little use. All the components are pretty much as good as new. Uh, very little wear, no real issues with the points. We've had a re-sleeper. Uh, the original 1992 sleepers, they were starting to fall apart really, so we re the point yesterday. Uh, nice new stage 3 sleepers. Uh, a bit of welding for the uh, chief engineer to do on the stretcher bar and the new point lever on the switch rails. A few modifications there. And we've changed the shape of the point a little bit with the Jim Crow, just to give it a bit of a better shape for the new sidings for our uh, future uses. The main line, as mentioned previously, has had two full days of Kango packing, uh, around about 20 hours of can go packing, massive, massive amount of ballast once again. Uh, rides like a, well, like a carpet now, absolutely beautifully. Um, still got temperature speed restriction on there at the moment before it uh, beds down a bit more, hopefully, and then maybe a bit more packing just to get it up to its final 
condition, but uh, it's all in the right alignment now, all nice and level. The gradient has been lessened around the carriage shed to make things a bit more, a bit more workable. So good work outside Woody Bay. Um, lots of little jobs that take a lot of time, unfortunately, but all part of the project and bringing the railway closer towards finishing the project, hopefully soon.